Rescue, Data and Repair, my name is Dr. Ben. Happy welcome to the next video and we got Flötzinger again. So we were out of stock for about three days. I had to drink other beer and I don't like to drink other beer. So get Flötzinger Hell, the best beer, the mother best beer in the world. So Dr. Ben tells you, you need to drink this to get a good solar, okay? So pause. <laughs> To read data on this NAND, it's like a door and you need keys to open the door, to unlock the door. And the keys are in the CPU and the Logic EEPROM. If you want to see something on the channel, so important repairs which you just need for learning more skills or whatever, just give us a comment and we try to get these repairs for you. And did you hear the sound? Did you hear the sound? This sound sounds pretty good. So we start today with an iPhone 12 Pro board. The iPhone 12 Pro was mailed in as complete device and the customer wrote us he has error 9 if he tries to, um, to restore the phone in 3 or tools or iTunes. I couldn't do anything because um, it wasn't detected as it came here in 3U or by the PC in general. And we have a boot behavior going up to about 130 milliamps going back to zero. Um, the NAND lines um, are okay. But this issue I often saw on NAND issues for the 12 series. So my way to go now is just to take off the NAND and to replace the NAND and then see if we got a recognition of the PC again and if we can restore the device again. Data is not important. He has an iCloud backup and if the, the NAND is dead, you can't recover data. So anyway, that's just a repair now. And we directly start by cleaning the glue around the NAND. And then getting out the NAND. And um, yeah, we will just start with that. So now we just have to take out the MOF NAND. And I just want to tell you something about... Oh. This chair wasn't used by me before. So, and again, yeah, it's fine. Um, the NAND, here you see, I just scraped away the clue on the caps around to check if there is a short on the NAND line, but it wasn't. So the NAND in these devices has data on it. And to read data on this NAND, it's like a door and you need keys to open the door, to unlock the door. And the keys are in the CPU and the Logic EEPROM. So we need for reading data out of the NAND, we need the CPU, the Logic EEPROM and a working NAND. If the NAND is dead, we can't do anything for data. And this here wasn't um, a request for data. It was a request for repair and um, they already tried to restore the device. Not to update, they tried to restore and they said they got error 9. Okay, error 9 is mostly an issue with a dead NAND. Mostly, not always, but mostly. And because we don't have any iTunes detection or PC detection here in general and the boot behavior on power supply with emulated 4.2 volts is just like going to 130 and back to zero. I think it could be really a NAND issue because this is something I really saw often back in the days. And in some situations if you do these repairs you have to use your experiences and um, they are much better than then only theory skills because here it's you need to know how the device reacts in situations like the NAND is dead or um, another component uh, is dead and here in this situation 
I just know, okay, normally if we have a dead nant um, on this generation, it behaves like that if it tries to boot. So, and for me it's, okay, we just get out the nant now and replace the nant with another one and then we just try to see if the device is detected by the PC and if yes, we just do a restore of the device and then we should have again a nice and fine working device again in my experience okay so we just start the hot air now so it was cooling down so just stay on the NAND with the hot air and then just get it out like that, okay? Looks like this was really a fast and easy thing. And now we just clean up the board and replace the net. And then we will have a look if it if it's detected by our PC again. And if yes, we just get an update, or not an update, a restore over the device. And we will have a nice working phone again and, a happy, and one more happy customer. And that is what we're always working for. What we are working for is happy customers. So anyway, if they are just happy about data or a working phone, that's just related to them. And related to, to what they need. So we just clean the clue. Not a problem at all. We clean the clue, then we remove the clue rests, and after that I already prepared a new NAND. But you know preparing a NAND is not a big problem because we have big solar balls and big or we have big pads. And it's not a problem to rebuild that chip, so we don't need to see that again in this video. Here for us now, it's only important how to do the diagnostic of a fault such like this. And how to get it solved in a, in a fast way. And again, we just need some hot air. And we need a tool here. So we just get away the clue under the NAND and around the NAND. Just that the new chip has enough space to sit down in a free way. If you want to see something on the channel, so important repairs which you just need for learning more skills or whatever just give us a comment and we try to get these repairs for you that's not a problem but you can also have a look at our other videos so we have about 900 I think or 850 like ever Tim do you know how, how many videos we have online Okay. Oh. Shorts, like 
800. Okay, between 8 and 900 in this range. So, if you want to just have a look to them, feel free to do this. We have a lot of stuff which you can check. A lot of stuff which you can check. And if you need something new, just tell us what. And if it is not already on the channel, we will arrange this for you. Not a problem at all. We are always happy if we got some new ideas to give you new stuff. But within the last years, really, we gave you a lot of videos. So, I often talk to other pe people about the channel and um, if they don't know the channel and have a look then, they contact me after often and say, Ben, you got such a large archive for, um, for videos, that's crazy. So many videos on a channel, so have a look and if you need anything more or different just let me know that and we will arrange that for you not a problem here we got here we got I try to show to you here we got the other NAND chip so we just add some flux here and we add the new NAND here and then we just solder down the new NAND to the logic board. Just need some more power for the hot air, more airflow. Many people ask, que ask questions um, under the videos like um, temperatures and things like that and airflow. Please always remember that we don't give these informations in the videos. Because if you want to learn that, you need to book a personal training. <clears throat> we do this online and we do it right here in the company. So you can come to here and learn. It's always one weekend. And uh, we need to know what you want to learn before. And then we just make a, a, a special training only for you. Or if you want to learn it in videos, not a problem. Online trainings, just give us an email to info at rescue-repair.com. And then we will just have a look um, for your personal training. Not a problem at all. So, and now we just get the board into the housing. So before, remember before we didn't have any recognition for the phone on the PC. So you didn't hear anything, you couldn't get it into the DView mode. It was just like no reaction at all and now we need to see what about can we restore the phone now or not let us see just need to connect the screen So, all the flex cables, even for the ambient light sensor, front flex, and the battery now. And now, oh, I think this cable was dead. Was it really dead? Let us see. Because you see, this cable is. <laughs> old let us, let us say it is old okay and did you hear the sound did you hear the sound this sound sounds pretty good for me let us see if we have a recognition for the phone and yes we have you can see here iphone 12 pro um, connected to the pc and we have to download the software I think this will take a short time. Um, 
I have the software on my PC, Tim. Can I do the update on my PC and we come back here? Yeah. Is this okay? Because you see, we have in this room, we only have Wi Fi connection, and um, this will, you can see here, it will take a while, about 20 minutes, and I don't want to wait such a long time. Now, I take the phone, go to my PC, do the update uh, or the restore, and then I come back to here, okay? <laughs> And now, Tim, count from one to three for me, please. One, two, three. Yeah, we got it, baby. Pull me. Pull, pull, pull. <laughs> Here we are. iPhone 12 Pro. You see it on the cameras. iPhone 12 Pro. And we got a full working phone again. And this is pretty fine, people. We really had a NAND issue and I'm happy that I could show you this beautiful fix within a really short time here on the channel. So always remember if you got an issue like that, watch on the values on power supply. Um, you need to go to know about your experiences and then solve the problem. Problem solved. Phone is working fine and we are out. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. This was, where are my classes? This was Dr. Ben for you. Goodbye, peace. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, let me. Oh, pretty fun, I'm out, goodbye. Subscribe, people.